Hi guys, Chelsea here from Making Man's Nita, and today's video is going to be all about gel stain. So I wanted to start with just a quick introduction to gel stain, what it is, what it's mostly used for before we step into the how-to tutorial where you'll see me using gel stain on a recent project, and I'll walk you through everything you need to know about the application process. But to start things off, gel stain is a oil-based stain material for wood that allows you to get a really rich uh, color change and it's great for projects that you have an existing finish or a, an existing stain on but you want to change the color. So if you find uh, furniture at the thrift store and you don't want to paint it, uh, you want to go with the stain route, this is a great option because you don't have to sand that existing finish or stain away like you would have to if you wanted to restain it with like a traditional wood stain. So that's one of the great benefits of gel stain. It is very easy to use, it's very forgiving, and again, you get a really great coverage and rich color. So for the project you'll see me doing today, I'm using a black gel stain, so it's a very dramatic change, and I'm doing it on a magazine rack. You may have seen the video of the full tutorial for the magazine rack, I added cane to it, um, so it has a real boho finish but it's just a thrift store find. So I found the magazine rack at a local thrift store for just a couple of dollars. It had an existing stain and a finish on it, but I was still able to use the stain and I didn't need to sand it all the way down to raw wood. So let's jump into the tutorial and you'll see some of the application things that you need to know. I'm gonna be applying the stain with just a rag. So it's definitely a material that you should have in your workshop or it's very easy to find. All right, let's jump in. So you wanna start by giving your piece a nice sanding with a fine grit sandpaper. And the goal here is just to rough up the uh, surface of the wood to give it, to promote adhesion for the gel stain so it's not a slick surface. You're definitely not trying to get all the finish off or all the stain off and get it down to raw wood. So just a light sanding with a fine grit sandpaper and then you can open up your gel stain and give it a nice stir with a paint stick or I think I'm using here just a wood shim that we had in our garage. So as you can see here, I've been stirring this for about 30 seconds. The gel stain is a lot thicker than paint or other types of stain. Definitely a lot thicker than like just a traditional oil stain. Um, but that's what gives it its rich color. So you just want to stain it or stir it very well. I'm just using a wood shim, but you could use a paint stir stick or a piece of scrap wood or anything um, and you just want to keep stirring it'll start to kind of thin out a little bit as you stir and then everything gets mixed together um, but this is generally the consistency of gel stain so don't be alarmed if you open it up and it's really thick um, nothing's wrong with your gel stain this is just how it is supposed to look also um, it is important to wear gloves I learned this the hard time. The very first time I worked with gel stain, I didn't wear them. And traditionally, uh, there's a few ways to get stain off of your hands, but with the gel stain, um, because it's a lot thicker and it has that gel consistency, it's a lot harder to get off your hands and nails than traditional stain. So even if you don't normally wear gloves when you're staining, you definitely wanna do it when you're working with gel stain. Next, you can start applying the gel stain. So you can see here that I am using a rag. This is just a lint-free paint rag that we usually buy in bulk and have sitting around in our workshop for things like staining and painting. You can also use a brush. Uh, if you are using a brush, be sure you're using a high quality brush that's made for oil products. The bristles will need to be a little different than a traditional brush, so be sure the one you choose for this project is made for oil-based products because gel stain is oil-based. So you can see here that I am just applying it pretty uh, generously to the surface and letting it sit for a few minutes and then wiping off the excess. Minwax instructions say that you should let it sit for about three minutes before wiping any excess off. And when you're wiping it off, you wanna be sure you're wiping in the direction of the wood grain in long strokes, going the whole surface of the a uh, piece of wood if you can. So gel stain is a little trickier to use on large uh, 
pieces, kind of like a dining room table, you may find it a little more tricky on something like that because it is really important that the strokes that you have when you're wiping it off are nice and straight and smooth because they're gonna be mimicking the grain of the wood. Okay, so here is how the magazine rack is looking after one coat of the gel stain. And I did this yesterday. You don't have to wait 24 hours between recoats. I just ran out of time. I think you need to wait like eight to 10 hours um, for your second coat. So I think it looks good, um, but I wanted it to be darker. I wanted it to be more black. So I'm gonna do a second coat and possibly a third. We'll see how it turns out, um, but that's what I'm gonna work on today. But here's what it looks like after one coat. All right, so I'm done with the second coat. It went on much faster. Um, and what I did a little bit differently on this one is I did not wipe it. When I wiped off the excess, I didn't wipe quite as hard. So I left some of that excess gel stain on there just to get a richer color. And I'm really liking the way it work. It looks now. Um, it is going to take longer to dry just because there's more excess stain on there. So I may need to leave it like a full 24 hours before touching it. Um, but I'm just going to see what it looks like after it all dries. Maybe I'll do a third coat, but I'm kind of liking the way this looks. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's how it is looking after one coat or uh, sorry, two coats of the gel stain. I really like the finish. Um, you can see it's kind of shiny, has a little bit of a shellac to it, and you can still see some of the wood kind of poking through on some of these, which I like that look. It is not a solid finish. I bet if I did a third coat, it probably would be a little closer to a solid, but I like that it looks stained instead of painted. So I'm liking the way it looks. I'm gonna leave it. I do need to seal it though. And to seal it, I'm going to be using this clear aerosol lacquer. This is one of my favorite finishes. It's very easy to apply. It's fast drying and uh, you just spray it on in several light coats. So that's how the project came together. I really love how it turned out and using gel stain was the perfect solution because I really wanted to dramatically change the color, but I still wanted that wood grain to show through. So gel stain is a great option if you are looking to dramatically change the color of a wood piece that has been previously stained or finished. Uh, like something you find at the thrift store like I did, or even it works great on raw wood too. So if you have a new project, I recently used gel stain on a wood bench that we made and that was brand new raw wood and the gel stain worked great on that. I used a gray gel stain, so it was really fun to use kind of a non-traditional color. And that, um, if you wanna check out that video, I'll link that here. So the pros of gel stain are that, again, it's easy to use. It gives you a nice rich color. It's a surface laying stain, so um, it doesn't soak into the wood. It's great on vertical surfaces because it is thicker, so it doesn't run down the surface, so that's another pro. And it just provides a really good color coverage. Uh, some of the cons though, People say that it can accumulate in like nooks and crannies and kind of build up excessively there. I had a lot of nooks and crannies on this um, magazine rack and I really didn't notice that being a problem. Maybe it's because I was using such a dark color and so I wasn't really able to tell the difference there. I really like that you can build it up with multiple coats, kind of similar to paint. Um, and you can make it darker and darker on each application. So that I really liked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video all about gel stain. If you have any other questions about gel stain or really anything else, feel free to drop it in the comments below. And then while you're here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. We share weekly DIY and renovating videos just for you. And then while you're here, check out this video next. I think you'll love it. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.